five, four, three, two, yeah. Game on. Game on. Oh, I can get to let's go. Terrific line and length again from Bolton. The clock has a little luck. And they're the things you need in any time. continued his ball and was gone for South Africa it's a big one for New Zealand he's gone for 10 minutes 21 for one tried to walk and just missed it but the Duplessis has played it extremely well in the end end of the over event for one again 25 for one after four now De Kock he's going to find third man and he's got Tim Sarvey didn't have to move, and De Kock pays the price. Trent Bolt has another. He's out for 14.51 for two. Oh, that's a great shot. Riley Rousseau just elegantly launching this through mid on. That's a good shot. He does take the risk and it comes off. Great execution from Duplessis. Yep. Yeah, he did. And Duplessis got him. He hit it back past Tim Southey. So that gamble from McCullum backfired just a tad. And after 21 overs, it's 85 for two. Russo goes down the ground. Just reflects on how short that boundary is. In the air, taken, what a catch! He is brilliant, Martin Guttel. Anderson strikes, he has a knack of doing it. Yeah, long arms, Guttel, he used them to good effect with the bat the other day. Those long levers powering the ball. This time he sticks out a long right arm. 114 for three now, South Africa. And Russo gone for 39. Just over mid on and run into the deep. It was high on the bat from Duplessis. And they'll come up and get a cover. Playing back to the ground. He brings up the 50 for Buff Duplessis. He's superb. He had to be a little bit watchful. But he's dug himself in. And you can see the appreciation from the captain, Abu de Villiers. Down the wicket. Long and straight. And yeah, that is a big one. And a much needed one for South Africa. That is another beautiful shot. A.B. de Villiers, who's backing across and he just punches it straight back past the bowler. Yeah, this is class. Another short one. Not quick enough to do that, and he's paid the price. Yeah, dealt it superbly by Fuff Duke to see it's a decent option with the ground as it is and the short straight boundaries. You're going to see a lot of short delivery from Anderson. Oh, Peter Villiers goes downtown. He's charging. Is it all the way? Yep. Maximum. Tell you warning, I've really enjoyed the last half an hour of cricket chat. De Villiers got the gap again. It's more skill through the offside this time. This is dangerous for New Zealand. Again, down the town, yeah, down the ground here. We're just toying with Anderson now, wherever he wants to hit the ball, he's got it. Got such an interesting face on the colour as a captain now. He really attacked, all out attack for the first 30 overs. He's left himself in a precarious position now with the fifth bowler. Oh, what a shot. That's just great skill. He just stayed leg side of the ball a little bit, didn't try and over hit it, and then just ran it to the boundary. Just got a matter of getting the gap. interested in this did he think it brushed something like still got a review up their sleeve and not many overs to use it to okay well, I'm gonna go back on field the ball's touched the glove I'd like 
you to reverse your decision to out. You're on camera. So there it is, you heard the process, and that is the outcome. Fast Duplessis is going to make his way off Eden Park. He never got the chance to restart. It was a brilliant knock, stage one, but unable to carry on. So he leaves for 82 off 107. Terrific effort that. But South Africa lose their fourth at 217. That'll be four more. Saudi going for width. The wide hole, as they call it. And Miller was up to the task. Cullum get across. No, he can't. It goes under the captain. The fourth boundary in the over. Straight down the ground for four. That's muscle. Out and out muscle. In fact, has it carried the whole way? Maybe. It has. Brute force there. You can add six to that, and that's a mighty big six. Top deck. Top draw. Perfect slot for David Miller. This is exactly where he absolutely loves the deliveries to be bold. Don't have to worry about that. That's gone miles back. Once again in the hitting zone for David Miller. That brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Just 24 deliveries takes David Miller to 49. Little touch there and he's gone. So the danger man in the second vital period of play disappears, but he gets a handshake from his captain. Dismissed for 49. South Africa lose their fifth wicket, with just four balls to spare. Oh, the Villiers will be out of his blocks. They'll look for two. The throw's got to go to the keeper's end to get Dumini. Skid throw, and Dumini gets back. South Africa finish with a brace, and they finish after 43 overs with 281 for five. Quite got off to a bit of a loose shot and Duplessis consolidated with his 82. Rousseau so was pretty good for his 39. The really is superb, 65 from just 45 deliveries. None of them able to bowl the 10 because the reduced innings had forced three wickets for Anderson, two for bowl. Oh, extra cover, half a dozen. Thank you very much, says Brendan McCullum. Got some length and pounced on it. Swung away for six more. Stayed in his crease this time, McCullum. He's gone leg side as well. Hasn't got it quite as good as the last. One bounce and four. In the air, over the top. Four more. Straight into that strong zone. And then McCullum, short and wide. Beautiful timing, Matthew got to it. up four. And 14 from the Moray Morkel over 46 without loss. Oh dear, that is enormous. You think there was one big one today earlier? That's about 20 metres further. 50 for New Zealand in just the fifth over. Oh, that's over the top. My word. There is no catching that unless you've got an orange shirt on. And 50 for Brendan McCullum in 22 deliveries. Through the offside this time, four more. Caressed on this occasion. To Rye Smile, but underneath that, the blood is boiling. Out should be taken and will be taken. Dale Stain takes the catch. Game on, Dooley. Absolutely. It's good bowling from Mone Mortal and good captaincy and good field play. Took one tight over and McCullum succumbed. I know he didn't face it, but he's gone for 59 now. 71 for one. That's a great shot. Yep. Wasn't that bad a ball? That's likely back to Valencia from Mone Mortal. Kenny Williamson is on to them. An absolute flash. Morkel does it again, he struck twice. Huge wicket for South Africa. Kane Williams is soon as often the backbone of the New Zealand batting. He gets himself in for six from 11 deliveries. New Zealand now 
81 for two. Taylor gets it. That's what he wants. Work to get going and he's starting to feel it. There we go. It's in the air. It's going to go all the way for six. Yep, it's a big one. I can go up to the sides, not too late. Dunwoody circle. That brings up the 100 for New Zealand. Gottama's gone, there was hesitation there, Ross Taylor is distraught at the non-striker's end, he can't believe what's just happened, this is a huge moment in the game. Well, Ross Taylor's responding in fine style at the moment, 29 to him, 140 for three. was a caught behind down the leg side. I thought there might have been a bit of pad in it, but Dominic once again. Ross Taylor goes for 30, 149 for four. That'll be four. One man to beat, he does it easily. Into the deep, that's six, way back. That's right there now, New Zealand. That has gone a long way back in flat two. Once again, the last ball of the over going for a boundary. It's full and it's through. It's a half volley. And it's around about the fourth or fifth ball of the over for Orlando that normally costs him and it's done it again. Ball toss and he puts him straight back into the south stand. It's a free hit for Anderson. On the ground, 196 for four is the score. Rides it down and it's beaten more than Morkel. Morkel can't stop it. And what was a great over, suddenly a four off the last ball. It's 208 for four. Now then, there's no one out there. And that has just been helped on its way for six. Gets it through, Anderson. And last, the sparing dive is not good enough. Beautiful shot, lovely piece of timing over the top for Grant Elliott, and he has 50 as well. Superb, cool head. Yeah, he's looked the calmest man in the stadium. That's what's been impressive about Elliott's half century tonight, the way he's constructed his innings under enormous pressure. Ah, oh, straight up, straight up, who's underneath it? He's got it, yeah he has. Faf Duplessis, he held his nerve and Anderson's fight, his brilliant fight has come to an end. That's gone, that's gone, way back. Wow. Oh, Grant Elliott. Oh, that could be out, should be out. That's out. Stain gets the breakthrough and Ronke is gone. Could have hit it anywhere. Who's 69 for six? Ronky gone for eight.